Hello everyone, I'm Milena Rich and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna introduce you in numerology, right? So I will show you step by step how to create your own life diagram or your own life graph, right? Based on your date of birth. So it's gonna take you about 10-15 minutes to create your own graph and you will know how your life is going to be approximately at least. I will explain you what does it means, all this like ascending lines and descending lines and the, what, at what age it's going to happen, right? And why I like this way, um, in numerology there are a few ways to calculate your life graph, right? But this one is my favorite one. Why? Because it's so easy for people, for those of you who doesn't know about numerology, anything. I will just give you some basic information about this. This is nine um, numbers, right? You don't need to go and study what every number means. So this is uh, this graph I did for, for a friend of mine, so I will <laughs> explain you and show you based on it, right? So this is the end, how it's going to look your own graph uh, when you finish it. So now let's get started from step by step. So first of all, this is I created a sample for you <laughs> to show how we will do it. So live graph. So first of all, what we need, you need to create this the coordinate system, right? You need to, to uh, draw this y-axis and x-axis. On the y-axis, you have to divide it for nine, divide it uh, till nine, right? Nine dividers. This is numerology. In numerology, nine is the maximum. Why? Because next after 9 is 10, right? What is it 10? It's 1 and 0. When you 1 plus 0, it's become 1, right? It means this, the cycle is going back here. So that's why it's like a circle. So in numerology, 9 is the maximum. That's all what you need to know about that. So um, on the x, axis i will show you later how we're gonna divide it right it depends of the number which we will mm, discover from your date of birth all right <laughs> let's get started so what do we need to know right now only your date of birth so right now i'm gonna mm, make this one for another my friend and uh, her date of birth is let me show so oh be careful with this one so first it's very important put your date of birth and then month and then year don't turn it around so if you will put like i know in united states they used to put months first and then date and then year right so please be careful with that so it has to be date month and years otherwise your life graph is gonna be incorrect all right so my friends date of birth is a uh, date is 22 she was born on 22nd of april april it's the month in 1973 this is her date of birth now what do we have to do <laughs> we have to multiply this number to this year we have to multiply it all right so let's take the calculator and let's do it it has to be like that 2204 right 20 can you see it 2204 multiply on 1973 so let me write it down so you will not be confused it will be like that 2204 multiply on 19 or 73 
and the result is you can see right on this calculator 4 3 4 8 4 9 2 all right let me check it out again uh, 1973 43 48 492 correct all right you've got the main number which is very important to create our graph so uh, the next step is to count how many digits you've got in your own uh, this number so let's count one two three four five six seven in this particular particular case we've got seven digits right seven uh, numbers so what does it mean seven dividers has to be on the x axis okay let's create them one two three four six seven because we have seven digits all right one two three four five six seven all right great now we're ready <laughs> we're ready to create the graph so first first digits is four right four find on the y-axis four let's use this dotted line so it will be more visible right okay this is first number first digit four so four one all right second digit is three right three look here it's three so let's find the three it's gonna be right here three and it's our second digit all right third one one two three right it's four it's four great fourth one number eight okay fifth one it's number four again <laughs> a lot of fours it's good okay this is four and, or fifths and then six ones one two three four five six is nine look at that she's got the maximum okay it's about six and the last one seventh uh, digit is number two great after that we have to connect all of them together right start from the one three four right four three four eight okay let's start zero it's the date when you were born this is the moment you were born so we have to to pull it right i'll, I'll try to do it beautifully <laughs> four okay four and then three and then four and then eight okay and then again four my like dad nine <laughs> and two okay two this is your life graph 
Now, what we need to know, what does it mean? And in which age is going to be good time and uh, tough time, right, in your life? So, next step is to figure out it, at what age these points, right? Okay, one, it means like 10, 10 years. Every divide is 10 years, 10, 10, it means 10 years old, 20 years old, 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, 70, all right? Now, let's see, this is, the point is at 4 and 1, what does it mean if it's 10 years old person? It, and here is 4, it means 10 plus 4, it's, it's she's going to be 14 years old at this point on her graph, right? 14. And then 20 years old and 3. What does it mean? 23 years old. Okay. And then 30, right? 34. 34. <laughs> and then 40. 40 and 8 on the uh, y-axis, it means 48 years old, okay, and then 50 and 4, 54, great, 60, <laughs> 69, 69, and then 70 and 2, it means 72. So, my clients usually confuse when they're doing it, my friends, right? <laughs> they're thinking, okay, I'm going to die at 72. No, because the cycle is repeating. So, once you reach the end, right, the, the last number, it means you have to go back to the beginning. I'll show you. So, since 7, 7 digits, right? We finished on the 7. So, what is going to be next? 80 years old, right? Because it's 70. So, 8 is going to come back to this circle, where is the 1. So, under 1, you're going to put 8, and then 9, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. Maybe you're going to live a million years. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> With our medicine now, people can live so long. And that's very amazing. So, after 72, you can see 8 is here. So, and 4, right? So, because the cycle is repeating, is coming back to the beginning. So, 8, 4, it means here there's a continuation after that. Like 84 is right here. Or, like here at this point, right? 84 years old. Or, if it's confusing you, you can continue this graph further. I'll show you. So, since it's 4 again, find a 4, continue this line. It's going to be 4, 8, 9, right? If you want to continue to the right. So, 8 for 8 is going to be 4. So, find a 4 here. And then 3 for the 9. Right? So, and, and so on. We will, I don't have space here. <laughs> so, it means you can continue after 72. 84 is going to go here. And then 93 here. So, this is going to be 84. And after 3, it's 4 again, right? It will be like that further. So, 93 years old. So, I hope it's clear, right? And now, what is very important to calculate your life need. What is it? Let me show this diagram of my friend. 
if you can see this line this line this is it means life need when you approach your life need it means you satisfied by your life so everyone has different life need for example somebody is very ambitious and they have their life need very high somewhere here some people they are like modest right and they they're okay to to be life need is somewhere here lower and they're absolutely satisfied they're happy with that so it depends on based on your date of birth we will create we will calculate your life need and we'll see for example for this my friend your life need is five and uh, four and seven right so almost five between four and five in the middle <laughs> so and the most of your diagram graph is above your life need so it means she's more than satisfied by her life she's happy with what she has because your expectations even higher than she thought it's gonna be like all right okay now let's calculate your life need it's gonna be based on this our main number so life need life need we will add all these numbers in this case is seven numbers to each other let's add them to each other okay uh, four plus three right and then plus four plus eight plus four plus nine and plus oh two <laughs> okay and it's gonna be let me use the calculator i don't want to make any mistakes for you <laughs> four plus three plus four plus eight plus four plus nine plus two so we have got 34 34 right so like here we can see we took this main number added all these digits to each other and we've got uh, the sum of it right so we've got here 34 and then as this shown we have this number to divide this number we have to divide on the number of digits so how many digits do you have here we have seven right one two three four five six seven so this number divide on seven in this particular case for example if you have this main number like five of them so it means the sum divide on five or if you have four you have this number to divide on four all right or if you have eight divide on eight all right great so 34 we have to divide on seven 34 divide on seven and we've got this long number so we have to round it so we need just one number right so it's gonna be 34 divided on 7 um, 4.9 right because we have to make it um, round okay 4.9 this is the number of your life need let's find this number on the x or y axis since it's four nine it's almost five right it's going to be somewhere right here great great and let's create the line of your life need this is your life need 
<laughs> she's absolutely successful person and okay now let's try to read this graph if you see over here the person is different life right you can see it absolutely different everything is above of your life need another friend of mine has different life because her graph is dividing some of graph is lower below the life need and some of period of life is above and then again lower so let's try to figure out what does it mean if you see your graph is going somewhere lower when your life need it doesn't mean your life will be horrible not at all or a lot of mistakes my friends doing they think if their graph is somewhere here they think oh my life is miserable it's gonna be horrible especially when they're doing it for their kids like oh my daughter's life is gonna be miserable i said no you're not right it's not about that this is about like you know some of us is very lucky right like when we're working or going to college we're getting everything easily easily right but some of us has to put a lot of efforts to work harder to get the same than the other that's all this is what this graph is showing us so but it doesn't mean if your uh, graph is somewhere lower it doesn't mean you will not reach your goals or you will not be educated or you will not be rich no even right here one two if your graph it, it means you can be very rich just your money you will make them through very hard work you will work very hard to get them but for some people it can be like at the highest level right like seven eight nine it doesn't mean this person is like very lucky or rich and have everything right no it means this person has good opportunities to get I, I created some graph for my you know, for my relatives and the graph was here but this person didn't go to college was working as in like a, um, in a customer service like dispatcher you know on the phone so it means the person had a lot of opportunities and still have them just she doesn't want she's satisfied what she has that's all so let's see this graph because we are creating our life right so in this graph will show you where you are lacking how it's going to be in your life approximately at least okay let's see for this friend of mine how it's going to be her life okay now her period of life is here on the ascending period of life because she's 47 years old she was born in 73 right so she's right here getting the peak <laughs> of this uh, graph okay till 14 years old 14 right her life was so good and she was uh, getting education she was the best um, in the college right and it was easy for her but she never was satisfied what she has because she was good uh, student but she never she, you see her life need she never was like an a student she was about like b all the time and she wasn't satisfied she was saying i'm studying so hard but i never get a it's true and she wasn't satisfied the graphic shows it okay and then she went to another college right till 23 till 34 her life she was doing great she gra she was graduating she has bachelor's degree right and she found good job 
she found very good job very good position she was growing here you see till 34 years she got promotion she's got not very top management uh, but still she's a head of like small department in some uh, private company but still you see it's lower than her life need it means she has everything she has good salary she has good position but she's not satisfied because she thinks she deserves better she wants work in a bigger company she wants to work in a big corporation not in like private company so that's why she's she's her uh, graph is showing like she's not satisfied because it's not enough for you <laughs> okay and then um, oh she she's got married over here you see it's going up she was happy and she met a good guy but she's not happy in her marriage over here because her life it's lower below than her life need and she said he's a good guy but maybe lazy little bit and she's not satisfied because everything on her shoulder so that's why she's not satisfied it's showing it all right and then look now she has very good um, period of her life from 34 till 48 years old so she's got new job she did it she was keep applying applying for government job and she's got it since she was already experienced over here right and she she had a perfect references and so she's got this opportunity and she was growing government job oh it was great great salary great benefits and she was so happy and you can see from 34 till 48 she's her graph is going up to her uh, life needs and it means here she's satisfied by her life by her financial status by her social status and um, since it was enough money for her even she started you know her relationships um, becoming better with her husband they're still together so and he found a job so she's she started to appreciate him so much so and it it makes you feel like satisfied in your private life in your uh, career life so that's why this graph is showing it's eight it's very high satis satisfaction <laughs> and it's gonna be even better nine that's absolutely outstanding i'm so happy to show it to you I believe she's watching this video now because she allowed me to do it um, on the video. Okay. And then uh, from 48 till 54, right? You can see it's a descending line. It doesn't mean she will lose uh, her job or divorce or something bad will happen. Not at all. No. It means this period of time, it's like... A, how many years like six years right almost during six years just um everything will be harder for her to get maybe she will be facing some a lot of tasks you know or in your relationship will be some crisis but it doesn't mean it's bad it means uh everything will go just a little harder than it used to be here here like all the open war all the doors were open for you but here she will have to to work harder to improve your relationship harder to be more patient or something like that right so but it doesn't mean your life is gonna be worse no just a little bit harder <laughs> and something in her life she because it's going lower than uh, her life need maybe over here she will think hmm could be better right like everything is good but i'm not satisfied fully something you know disappoint you a little bit maybe health issues or something here 
maybe kids issues no everybody has their own life right so but it doesn't mean it's bad it's just our thoughts you know how we accept our life that's all and then look from 54 till 69 years old again it's going to be very like fresh wave in her life will come <laughs> she will be super happy tremendously lucky because nine she's gonna reach the nine this is the maximum of the quality life right and it's gonna be way above from her life need and she will feel like she's so extremely lucky person because she's completely satisfied by her life and even it's much higher than her expectation when he, she's satisfied over here, right? All right. <laughs> and then from 69 till 72, descending line, it means, yes, it will be some mm, harder life. But it doesn't mean it's going to be worse and or bad or difficult. No, it's just, uh, you know, you will have to make some. Mm, efforts <laughs> to work harder or something and then the same so you you catch it right i hope you catch it how to read this descending ascending and descending lines and please remember if it's somewhere lower here it doesn't mean your life is miserable just remember about that because a lot of uh, my friends they're making mistakes when they see here they're thinking oh okay i will be professor over here doesn't mean you will be professor it means your life will be so um, balanced so in uh, harmonious you know and you will be satisfied by your life you will be happy Mm, so but it doesn't mean you will get a you will be a professor or a president of a country you know something like that okay so you can be even just uh, you know like a janitor and have this point because it will mean you're satisfied by your life and your life is even better than you expected from your life so everybody's expectations are different all right so this is only the one a way how to calculate your life graph in numerology there are a few ways so if uh, you would like to know about different ways to how to calculate your life graph you can leave your comments so uh, and i can create another video and i will show you different ways bye